All right, guys, so let's do a quick demonstration. So I trained my WhatsApp AI agent using my company's information, um, like the services we offer using the first part of the workflow. So now when I click on the test workflow, it's waiting for the trigger to fire in the second part of the workflow with this one. So let's simulate a message. Uh, imagine a client types something like, what services do you offer? And as you can see, the workflow has been triggered. And now AI agent is working on a response to the user. And yeah, Adaptify AI offers a range of services designed to enhance business operations and customer engagement, including etc. So basically, the agent created a response using the information stored in Superbase Vector Store. Uh, this is where we pulled all the details from the Word file that we pulled from Google Drive using the first part of the workflow to this one and this is the word file in google drive okay so now let's test the voice message feature so click on the test workflow and i'm going to ask the same question what services do you offer and we should receive a response from our agent. It it takes like 10 15 seconds. Yeah, as you can see, Adaptify AI provides a variety of services including guys, if you want the template so you can easily download and import it ready to go just by clicking on uh, import from file button here. Just subscribe to my newsletter. The, the link is in the description below. I will be sharing more awesome solutions like this, completely free, so you can use it for yourself or sell it to your clients. Hi guys, just a quick intro. I'm Damien. I am an AI and software engineer. I've been running my AI automation agency called Adaptify AI for almost two years now. I've been programming for almost 10 years and have a degree in software engineering. However, on this channel, I will teach you how to build AI agents and automations using no code or low code tools. So everyone can benefit from this amazing technology. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's get started. In this video, I will walk you through how to set up a WhatsApp AI agent that's trained all your company's data and can retain conversational history. So you can set up, set this up for yourself or even sell it for your clients for thousands of dollars. So this agent can handle text and voice messages and retrieve relevant information and then reply naturally by keeping the context of the conversation. So let's get started. So this is the first part of the workflow. And the workflow starts with uh, when clicking uh, the test workflow node. Uh, this is manual trigger that lets you test uh, the setup by running the workflow on demand. Next, we have uh, the Google Drive node. So this node downloads a file from a specific Google Drive folder. So you can select which document you want to process and store in the database. So this is where your company's documents like PDFs or Word files uh, are retrieved for, for the pro processing. Um, so next, once the file is retrieved, uh, it's passed to SuperPace Vector Store Node. So here, uh, the document is stored as part of your knowledge base. So this step ensures that uh, the data is available for processing in the next steps. 
So after storing um, after storing the workflow, it moves to recursive characters uh, splitter, text splitter node. So this splits the document into smaller chunks, and, and splitting is crucial because AI models perform uh, better with smaller uh, structure, structured pieces of text. So next, um, the default data loader node. So it organizes the text chunks and ensures they are ready for embedding. So this step formats the data for smooth processing. So after formatting, the chunks are passed to the embeddings of an AI node. So this node generates uh, numerical embeddings uh, for each chunk of text, uh, making it easier to compare and retrieve relevant information later. And finally, the embeddings are sent back to the Superbase, Superbase Vector Store. Uh, so these embeddings are stored in the database and um, create a searchable vector store. So this is essential for uh, enabling, enabling your AI to retrieve the right information when uh, queried. So this is the second part of the workflow. Uh, so the workflow starts uh, with the, the WhatsApp trigger node. Uh, this listens for incoming messages uh, like text or audio and from, from your clients on, on WhatsApp. So one, once a mass message is received, it moves on to the next steps in the workflow. So the trigger connects to a split out message parts node. So this node checks whether the incoming messages uh, is text or audio. So um, if the message is uh, an audio, uh, it's passed to the get audio URL and download uh, audio nodes. So these nodes uh, fetch and download the audio file, file and then uh, Google Gemini audio uh, node um, processes it to transcribe the voice into text. So transcription turns voice messages into uh, text so the AI can process them like regular text messages. Next, uh, once the message is transcribed, or if it's already text, it goes to the get users message node. And this node organizes and formats the message, pulling out important details like the type of message, the text content and who send it. So it extracts the sender's phone, phone number and message text. So they are ready to use in the next steps. So the information uh, go to um, AI agent. In this case is AI tools agent. So next the Postgres chat memory node comes uh, into play and this node lets the AI remember the conversation history, including previous messages and context, like the client's name or earlier questions. So this basically this makes for follow-up questions easy to handle without the client needing to repeat themselves and it keeps the interaction feeling natural. So now we move to Superbase Vector Store. Um, this is where the agent searches your company's knowledge base to find the most relevant information. So it works with uh, embeddings uh, OpenAI model um, to match the client's questions to sort knowledge and pull up the best possible answer. So after gathering all the data, the, the OpenAI chat model node uh, generates response. Uh, it combines the client's question and the, the retrieved knowledge and the conversation history to create a helpful and natural reply. And the final step is to reply to the uh, user node. This sends the AI res response back to the client through WhatsApp. In my previous video, I explained how to create a vector store in Superbase using Postgres for this AI agent. Would you like me to record a video on how to set up credentials for other services like the WhatsApp node, OpenAI API or Gemini? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you found this valuable, please leave me a like. It really motivates me to create more videos 
as I'm just starting my YouTube channel. I've got a ton of unique AI solutions and automations to share with you. And you won't find anywhere else because I built them for myself, not co copied like others. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.